hey guys and welcome back to another video so before starting off with this video i'd like to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year and uh, uh, hope that uh, this year brings you the best of all things that you wished for okay so uh, without any further ado let's get started so in today's video we'll be seeing how you can create a sign up and a login model in react using some bootstrap classes so over here you can see a component which is header right so normally if you know the uh, react hierarchy of how it works and things like that it is a component basically so header over here is my component and uh, this is the code for it just a bunch of uh, fragment and uh, the bottom section consists of the model so I'll just show you the folder structure first so this is a folder name which is market and I'll just show you over here okay documents So this is uh, the folder structure where I have some node modules, uh, public folder, source and some dependencies. So if you are familiar with the React uh, environment, so this is how your basic folder structure will look like based on your create app uh, command. And uh, within public you will have some uh, HTML files and things like that. Within source you will have a header js file that, uh, that is your main component where the the entire navigation bar or and the model will be i know here there are some dependencies or so, um, some images and uh, some bootstrap classes uh, css and uh, js fonts and etc here are some uh, css and bootstrap again so these are the style sheet which are used and written by the user so it is written uh, without any bootstrap and things like that and in, this is a js so this is a js file for the bootstrap class and this is our main header component so let's dive into it so uh, so this is our folder structure uh, this is the components folder and over here we have header component <coughs> sorry and uh, so basically it starts with our npx create react app and uh, this is the component where we'll have uh, two states and initially those two states will be false so the sign now uh, this sign is for a sign up form and the login for the login is for the login form we have two states right within the constructor and uh, for each uh, uh, sign up and login we have a toggle kind of a functionality so whenever the uh, user clicks on the sign up uh, button or it may be a link or a list uh, state will become true so the state initially over here is false so whenever the user clicks on that button or the list or whatever that link is it will become true so basically this is uh, that function and it handles the toggle functionality of the model so so that was it for the opening and we have another uh, 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 function which uh, defines the closing of the model so this is that method and will bind that to the model itself so this is basically a fag fragment the entire component is been mm, wrapped inside a fragment so this is a fragment I'll put some good description about uh, the fragments as well in 
the later part of the video and uh, this is a header class so the entire navigation bar is been made using the classes of bootstrap so if you're not familiar with bootstrap and how it works uh, i'll recommend you to go through it i'll, I'll put some documentation of bootstrap and how it works with react and things like that definitely in the description so do check that out and um, this is some classes which bootstrap uses and we have to work accordingly to it to make that navigation bar more responsive and uh, uh, model friendly and things like that uh, you'll get to know much better once i demonstrate you the uh, uh, navigation bar so this is a header which uh, okay so this is the header part and uh, this is basically the logo the logo which you will see at the uh, left hand side of the navigation bar and this is span so basically this is a, uh, a kind uh, it, it is a kind of an um, icon which when you click on it it expands so uh, you might have seen in a mobile web application if you click on a navigation bar when it becomes responsive it uh, drops down and shows you the list of uh, navs you have over there so whenever the site becomes responsive the website shrinks and uh, shows you a icon and you can click and it can expand so you'll get a better idea of it once that is demonstrated so i'll just show you so this is how the uh, navigation bar looks so this is the uh, icon just so as, uh, as i've so, uh, told you this is icon and uh, whenever you shrink this uh, you'll uh, you'll notice a icon or a span a bunch of span there is nothing but bunch of span um, kept aside and uh, made in a combined thing so yeah this is that so this is like the toggle functionality so this is a this is again a bootstrap thing so if you want to know a better uh, if you want to know about it i'll just uh, put some good documentation of it in the description how this thing works and uh, so this is a bunch of uh, navigation links and uh, this is the span and this is the ul which consists of our uh, sign up and uh, login model and uh, within that button we have binded our open model function so this is our button and this is the on click functionality for making that straight uh, state of the model from false to true so toggle functionality right and uh, this is the section where you have a bunch of navigations nothing fancy so home about blog products as you might have seen over here and this is that and uh, all further going down so okay so this is the model that we have we have used for the sign up form right so how you have created or imported this uh, model right so basically it is a react component so uh, I'll, I'll show you the uh, link to it so basically it is a, a pre-built react component it is an npm package where you can just hit the command npm install a react responsive model uh, I'll just show you in the packages in over here okay so this is the npm package so you can directly hit npm install react responsive 
model right so you just copy this command and uh, uh, hit it into your terminal and you'll get that component the model component installed right so let's get to the component again so okay so this was our uh, sign up component so it is uh, wrapping the entire form within that component so the way you can import it is using in this manner so model so import model from react responsive model and uh, you can directly use that in this manner right the code will be available in the description so you can just uh, clone that repo and uh, uh, hit npm install then it will install the dependencies and I'll, uh, do install or use the uh, bootstrap uh, cdns as well or else this so won't work but for the react component you don't need a uh, bootstrap you can independently use with your own css or without bootstrap so this is something that works uh, without bootstrap and it is responsive as well so you don't need to worry about uh, how you can make that uh, model responsive so it is a responsive one okay so this is an entire body of model where i have wrapped the entire form uh, uh like the input fields and the button etc so this uh, was that and uh, as you can see uh input for password uh, the email and name and we over have here is a button type button so this is sign up button so i'll just show you over here how it looks so this is our sign up model and this is a close button so state from false to true and again you can use this this can be whatever the component um, it might be home feature or anything you want but the main purpose was to demonstrate the model now uh, within an ava so as you can see this is responsive right so even if you click over here see it uh, uh, shrinks a bit based on your layout based on your layout it shrinks and uh, fits in the display so this is a responsive model this is not something uh, used in react this is a bootstrap thing so do check the bootstrap first if you are into it or if you are just for the model you can just um, download the npm uh, package for the responsive model and use it wherever you want just have wrap the component what you want to show inside the model within that model component like i've done here for the form right and uh, uh, this is for the uh, login same nothing extra like this was for sign up this is for login so just a, a email id and a password and a login button uh, there is no event handling right now it is just the gui so it depends upon you you can add your own um, functionality on form submission or like that but this was just a gui and uh, login and uh, sign up so this uh, model was for sign up just so wrap the entire division or a fragment or a form whatever you want to show within the model inside the model uh, component in this manner okay and uh, if you want to bind something with that model you can um, uh, use a login and the close functionality so on close is something that comes with model so you just need to bind that function which i've written over here this one uh, which 
it tells you that on uh, clicking on that cross just close the model so that was binded to this and uh, login over here is a state right and sign so it acts like a toggle functionality so you have to bind this as well make sure you bind this uh, functions with the model or, or it won't work and uh, yep this was it the sign up this is the sign up part and uh, this is the login part you can add your own fields buttons and whatever you want within uh, the wrapped model component so if you want an image or if you want some header section above that um, input field or whatever depends upon your need you can add within this and uh, it, it can be even an image or something like that right so make sure you wrap or whatever you need inside that model so this is our component and yep we have exported that to our app.js so as you can see and this is the division where i've shown you this can be whatever the page or component you want which is this and this is our header component okay and uh, we have a uh, use the style css make sure you do check that out i'll provide you those files in the repository so make sure you clone the entire thing and run with all the dependencies or in or it won't work properly or the css might be some scattered and uh, within that public make sure you have this links for this style um max cdn bootstrap 3.3.1 and the jquery jquery is not necessary but uh, still this is important so check the code while uh, before running check the component check the dependencies and after that you run you can run that so you will not get any error okay so this is a folder structure this is a components folder where the header component is and uh, this is our model right okay so this was uh, it for this video guys this was just a simple demonstration of how you can create a sign up model and a login model in react using the um, pre-built npm package of um, responsive model and uh, you don't have to create it by yourself it is already available you just hit npm install this res uh, react responsive model and you can start creating things within that model uh, based on your requirement so okay guys this was it for this video the code will be available in the description and uh, yeah thanks for watching